You have finally arrived. Before you stands the dragon you have been searching for. More assassins, the dragon sighs weakly. Whether or not the beast is weak, you care not. You muster up your courage and shout, Prepare yourself, you big lizard. But the dragon's roar sends your bravery flying with the wind. Your legs tremble in fear. But no matter how scared you are, the dragon will not wait. We shall strike you down, you exclaim, slashing out while cheering on your comrades. But at that moment... Vince appears. Its wounds healed, the dragon looks more lively than before. You too would be troubled without this dragon, he says, standing in your way. Stop spouting nonsense, the normally collected Melanie shouts. It seems Melanie has lost her composure before her mother's killer. She unleashes a fireball imbued with her hatred. But it is repelled by the dragon's tough scales. And the dragon returns the favor by spewing fire from its mouth. You seem to stand no chance against the revitalized dragon. Melanie looks distressed. Vince climbs atop the beast's back. The flapping of the dragon's wings sends forth one wind blast after the next. Stay out of this, Vince commands, then flies off toward the western sea. for Melanie, who has been burnt badly by the dragon's fire. I can't get up, she whispers weakly. Drink this, Bruno instructs, offering her a small bottle. It will help you regain your strength. Bruno claims he drinks it every day. It is a recipe from his father, that of a custom supplement. Make her drink it already, you cry, your panicked expression urging Bruno to give Melanie the supplement. <laughs> Melanie has a bad feeling about it, but downs it all in a single gulp. <laughs> and suddenly regains her strength. At ease with her recovery, you descend the tower.